is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright. That's... Sounds good to me. I'm a mature adult with a business degree. Uh, you know, I've been t telling you guys over the last couple of years how bad things have been for me, financially, <clears throat> how terrible everything's been. And that no matter what I do to try to get caught up, to try to fix things, it, they just get worse and worse. They keep uh, spiraling out of control um, to the point where I can't really do much about it. You know, it got to the point where it's completely uncontrollable. Um, you know, every time it seemed like I was possibly in a position where I could maybe get ahead, something else bad would happen. Um... <clears throat> That would screw things up for me over and over and over, all right? And the thing is, if you've actually followed along with me over the years, um, and if you're actually a, a, a frequent viewer and fan and you watch the pre-streams and everything when I talk about this stuff, you would know exactly what's been going on because I've told you guys about it every step of the way. But a lot of people either don't or they just like to have selective hearing, right? Even though I've explained to you guys for years and years how bad things have been for me financially, some people just don't want to hear it. What they want to believe is the absolute stupidest, worst-case scenario thing, such as, oh, Phil's been hoarding money in an offshore account, or Phil's been lying about his finances completely behind the scenes. <clears throat> you know, all that stuff going on. You know, people just want to say, oh, you know, Phil's a liar. Um, in reality, I, I wasn't lying at all. In reality, it was all truthful. Um, and it was just getting exponentially worse and worse every year. Every, like I said, every time I had a chance to maybe financially get ahead, things would blow up in my face for another stupid reason. Oh my god, uh, you weren't filing your taxes properly for several years because your tax attorney from Connecticut was an asshole, you know. Now you can't pay your, t your federal taxes for this year, so you gotta find a way to make ends meet and do it, you know. And it just got worse and worse and worse, okay. Um, <clears throat> without going too much into massive detail, this all started when I moved across the country in 2014. Before then, I did not really have much significant debt at all. But when I moved across the country from Connecticut to Washington, I accrued a ridiculous amount of debt. Um, between, you know, the down payment on this home that I live in, the moving costs, the cost to furnish the house, the cost to upgrade my business, um, amongst many other things, you know, many things just kept accumulating, accumulating, and I very incorrectly assumed that I would be able to afford all of it, because I thought that my income that I had at that point, which was primarily based on YouTube ad revenue, was kind of going to be there forever, and it wasn't, uh, quite obviously, um, it went way down over the years because of, you know, things that happened. And then the problem was, number one, <clears throat> because of trolling and everything, um, you know, my YouTube channel basically was kind of destroyed. You know, DSP Gaming at one point was very lucrative, got made a lot of views and everything, and then it just kind of went away. Um, by the way, I still have it unfrozen on my laptop. I might have to try to do, like, a hard restart here. This is one of the, yeah, page unresponsive. It just popped up, and I can't even click on it. <laughs> I can't even click on it to make it work. It's so bad. <clears throat> Exit pages. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, as, I, as I'm trying to do this, I'll continue to talk. Um, so basically, things just got worse and worse. And like I said, um, in 2015, my income dipped dramatically. For about a year and a half, my income went way down. And when that happened, I had to find a way to make things stay afloat. So basically, I had to rack up an insane amount of unsecured debt, which I didn't want to do. Whether it was credit cards, whether it was personal loans, um, to make stuff go keep going. Um, you know, and somehow I did, don't ask me how, I did manage at that point when I was making way less money, um, I was able to keep things afloat, um, but it wasn't very good the way that I did it, you know, and I would say probably around <clears throat> 2017 was the year when it looked like I might turn things around because I was finally earning enough, remember in 2017, I stopped relying just on YouTube, <clears throat> and instead I became a full-time streamer. And quite frankly, when I became a full-time streamer, my income went up again, which was great. But that's when, just when it looked like things, there was like a silver lining and things were going to get better, that's when all of a sudden, boom, I found out, oh, guess what, Phil? 
you didn't do your taxes correctly for three years, and now you're behind on that, and that cost me a ridiculous amount of money to fix. I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. And by the time that I fixed it, uh, I was so much in the hole, there was just no way to come back out of it, you know? That's just the, the truth of the matter. Because it's funny, you know, people come here, and as you know, you guys, I have stalkers. I have people who literally micromanage, or micromanage, microanalyze, I should say, everything that I say and do, including the income that I make. And they look at the amount of money that I could bring in on streams, you know, with, with different kinds of uh, contributions. And they say, how could Phil possibly, you know, have money problems with the amount of money that he brings in on his streams? Right? <clears throat> Alright, and the answer to that is, because I'm so much in the hole. You know, because I'm so much in the hole, it doesn't even matter, you know, at this point... It, how much I'm making, unless I, unless basically a miracle happened in one year, I like doubled or tripled my income, which is never going to happen. There's no way that I was ever going to get caught up with the amount of debt that I had put myself into, you know, with all of these things getting exponentially worse. Um, cause that's the problem. See, here's the thing. There's different kinds of debt. There's secured debt that's on a fixed interest rate. Mortgages. That's usually fine. All right. But when you get yourself into unsecured debt, which is exponential interest, interest on interest calculating, you're pretty screwed. And I knew that, but I had to do what I had to do to keep stuff going for years and years and years. Um, you know, I certainly didn't like doing it. And now you guys can understand why I, I over the years, I, some nights I'd say, man, I just can't sleep. I'm so nervous about the future. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, um, <clears throat> that's the deal. You know, it was just a, a, a snowball effect of six years, you know, a six years of shit, you know, racking up way too much debt when I moved across the country losing a, a large amount of income for about a year and a half to two years because of troll activities, and that's the truth of the matter, is that that's why I lost so much income, because my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming, was destroyed by trolls and false copyright claims, okay? By the time that I had finally found a way to recover from that and get back to maybe where I was making the same amount of money that I had been making, it didn't matter anymore, because I had too much debt in my name, mostly unsecured debt, that was the problem. <clears throat> and then the tax issue happened, which cost me even more money on top of the money I was already trying to pay off. And at that point, it was just uncontrollable. There was just no way to catch up with any of it. Okay? It didn't matter. It literally didn't really matter um, <coughs> how much I made. <clears throat> it would never catch up. Okay? So anyway. Um, it's not my fault. It's YouTube's fault. And <clears throat> these last couple of years, as I've been telling you guys, I've been really living day to day. Um, you know, last year in particular, 2019, was the worst year of my life financially. There were many months where... I was overdrawn on my bank account multiple times. There were bills that were going late and unpaid for extended amounts of time. Because I just, even with the money I make, <clears throat> okay, even with all the money that I make on streams, <clears throat> it wasn't enough to cover my, you know, exorbitant amount of debts. So basically by the middle to end of last year, I decided I had to take drastic action and, you know, figure out what the hell am I going to do because I can't, I'm not, I'm not paying one of my mortgages, which I can't afford anymore. Um, I know they're going to foreclose and try to come after me for money that I don't have. And the unsecured debts aren't getting any better. What do I do? <clears throat> okay. And so, you know, as you know, I filed for bankruptcy, which I told you guys two weeks ago. It's hilarious because over the past couple of weeks, people have been, like, making fun of me for it. Phil is bankrupt or whatever. It's like, yeah, I told you that publicly two weeks ago because I knew that all this was going to be public knowledge anyway. I didn't want to hide anything from any of you guys. I knew that everything would go public because it's a public filing. So why people think that it's, like, some controversial thing or some shocking thing I have no idea because I told you two weeks ago. Like, did you think I was lying? Or, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't know. Um, now, obviously, <clears throat> right? Obviously, you guys, uh, I've been hearing drama and shit over the past day. I'm not here to sit here and address tons of it or whatever. I'm not. This is a gameplay stream, right? Um, so, <clears throat> very matter-of-factly, what I'm going to do is say as much as I can up front and then leave it at that, all right? And the truth of the matter is I feel like shit anyway. And I'm not going to make the whole stream about stupidity which is what these people do, all right? So, you know, I have a bankruptcy attorney who I've been working with for months now, months and months. Um, the bankruptcy attorney is well aware of my situation, well aware of, of, what, of my assets, well aware of everything, and worked with me hand in hand to do this bankruptcy petition filing. Now, <clears throat> it's very possible that maybe the filing is not perfect. Uh, I don't know. All I know is, you know, this attorney asked me tons of questions. I answered all of the questions in detail, you know, and based on the answers to the questions, this is the filing that was come up with, and it was filed this week, and it became public record, you know, what's in this filing. <clears throat> okay, um, so that's the truth, you know, that's, that's what it is. Um, so, what's hilarious is you get a bunch of dumb shit kids 
on the internet who think they know anything about the law. They don't. None of them are lawyers. And they look at this filing and they look at things and they microanalyze it. And they say, we found all these discrepancies, right? From what we know publicly, from what Phil shares on his streams, we found all these discrepancies between the filing and what we know. And therefore, this is a huge disaster. And Phil has willingly perjured himself. And this is awful and blah, blah, blah. Which is not the case at all. This is utter stupidity, of course. <clears throat> um, is not the case. Really? Um, truth of the matter is that the filing um, is just the, uh, from what I'm to understand, the initial step in a process that happens. So the filing goes and, you know, goes to a court. The court reviews the filing, audits it, comes up with questions, comes back, and then we have to answer the questions. And if there's anything that needs to be amended in the filing, the filing needs to be amended, and it goes back and forth for a bit. You know, this is not, oh, you filed once, it's done, it's over. That's not the case at all. Um, but that's from what I'm supposed to, that's the way that I understand. There's always an audit. When you do a bankruptcy filing, there's always an audit on the account to see, or not the account, but the filing, to see if there's problems, discrepancies, or if anything doesn't make sense, you know? <clears throat> so, if anything, what I could tell you is this. <clears throat> I'm ser ser seriously not going to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not going to sit here and address individual little things because it's silly as hell to do that because it's not in my hands. It's in the hands of the bankruptcy attorney, right? The bankruptcy attorney has to make sure that everything is correct, and if anything's wrong, gets fixed. So, if anything's wrong on there, I'm sure it's going to get fixed. The truth of the matter is, I gave 100% accurate information to the bankruptcy attorney. They filled out the paperwork. They sat me down and asked me more questions. I answered the questions, and the paperwork was finished and filed. <clears throat> and that's it. Um, you know, that's the answer. So, you know, it, what else is there to it? Nothing, you know. Uh, people will sit here and say, oh, these things are wrong. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. I don't know. I'm not a bankruptcy attorney. <laughs> I don't know how, how it works. You know, things as ludicrous as, well, we know Phil has a cat. And on, I guess on there, there's a section that says something about pets. And it was checked off that no, Phil does not have a cat. Now, if you use your head, okay? Uh, excuse me. If you use your head, you think, why would that section be on there? <clears throat> that section would be on there because probably there's an allowance for having a pet, right? Like saying, oh, if you have a pet... Um, it's expected that a certain amount of money a month will go towards the pet, the budget for the pet or whatever, right? Now, knowing f me coming from a background that I had a little bit of accounting training, not a lot, but I had a little bit of accounting training at one point, okay? I can tell you that in accounting, things are not 100% uh, black and white, that sometimes things can be swapped around. So I'll give you an example. Sometimes you could say, oh, a pet expense is a pet expense, but sometimes you could just group that into living expenses and say that's a part of living expenses, okay? So... Yes, my attorney is well aware that I have a cat. Yes, my attorney is well aware that I, we spend some money on said cat every month. But maybe the attorney didn't necessarily fill out that one section saying that I have a cat. Okay, but instead, took it into somewhere else, right? So that's how it works. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, I literally don't ha know uh, how it works on that document. Uh, I have nothing to do with it. I didn't file it. <laughs> I didn't fill it out. All I did was give information, and the document got filed. Okay, so... You know, it is what it is. If there's things on there that are wrong, they're going to get fixed, right? They're going to get amended and fixed. Um, this was just the initial filing. Basically what this is, is this is the initial filing to get you on the docket so that someone will finally assign you a case and start looking at it. Because if you don't put this in, um, it takes a while. Like, for, for my understanding is it could take over a month to even get someone to sit down and look at it and schedule any kind of a, a, a hearing or a situation depending on your bankruptcy filing. So, you know, <clears throat> once you get all the information, you want to file it as soon as possible. Um, and then, you know, if there's issues or discrepancies, those are fixed along the way. But certainly, I'm sure, my bankruptcy attorney has never had a situation where so many eyes were going to be on the bankruptcy filing at once. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, never, I'm sure never, ever have there been this many people looking at this and microanalyzing it and trying to pick it apart, you know? <clears throat> so, there you go. Um, that's the truth of the matter, is there's nothing to it. It's no big deal. You gotta listen to me. Um... The hilariousness of idiots. Oh, yes, Phil willingly perjured himself and, and you know, said all this. I was like, what are you talking about? This is, <laughs> I sat down, I provided financial information. By the way, it's all backed up. You know, the documents and everything everywhere to prove everything that's in those, in those do that I, I said is in those documents. Um, it all exists. It's not like I just pulled it out of my ass. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> so, it, it's just stupidity. Um... That people would just make shit, oh yeah, you know. <laughs> I just think that, uh, 
you know, I just think that this is a, a you know, Phil completely lying. Sorry, I'm talking so slowly, too, because like I said, guys, I'm dying here. I, I do not feel good today. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so, anyway. um, Yeah, that's the situation. It's not a big deal. It really isn't, but that's it. People want to blow it out of proportion and act like it is, but this is apparently how it works, is... You know, it's, it's a standard process. Information is transferred to a petition. A petition is filed. A petition is audited. If things don't make sense, the petition is amended with updated information. And then the final petition finally goes to the court. And that's when you apparently, you know, have your, your determination of, if you know, will you qualify for the bankruptcy or not? And that's how it works. Okay? So I knew this was coming. <clears throat> you know, I knew this was coming. I knew people were going to freak out and be idiots. I knew that my personal information was going to be posted all over the internet and there's nothing I could do about it. My attorney knew that as well. I told her way up front, this is going to happen. Um, you know, expect it. You know, there's nothing that can be done here. It's going to happen. Um, and, you know, we handle it as, as things happen. I'm absolutely sure that more than likely if things were filled out incorrectly, there will be amended and it'll be fine. You know? <laughs> Again, I'm not the professional here at all. Um... Of course, we have insane amounts of idiots in the stream chat today, which we expect. You know, you knew you were going to get an influx of idiots just coming in here saying dumb shit uh, because of this. And that's fine. It's to be expected. I'm certainly not going to put up with it all day long. I'm not. I just tell you right now, I'm not. It's a public filing. I knew it was coming. I knew it would be microanalyzed. We knew there'd probably be a few things that were wrong or discrepancies that would be fixed. They're going to be fixed, and that'll be the end of it. It's not that big of a deal. But people want to act like it is. Because that's what they do. Keep in mind, every one of you, <clears throat> and I mean this too, every one of you, all right, every single one of you who went over there to one of their drama channels, all right, every one of you <laughs> who went and, you know, looked at all that nonsense and basically, oh my God, you gave them exactly what they wanted. You allowed these people who are not legal professionals, who know nothing, who literally just talk out of their ass on a daily basis and speculate about drama to get views and attention. You essentially paid them for nothing. And that's because you're stupid. I'm sorry, it just is, it's because you're stupid. WHY AM I TOXIC?! More toxic, more toxic. Instead of actually like, just coming to the source, or just saying, whatever, it's none of my business, you know, <laughs> Phil's here for gameplay streams, right? You wasted your time, and you went over to someone who's literally creating a, a situation that doesn't exist, <clears throat> and is not a big deal. And so Larry, oh, you're insulting your audience. No, I'm not. I'm not insulting my audience. My audience, my actual audience, is not here to hear about this. My audience is like, man, I really wish Phil didn't have to talk about this on pre-stream today. I wish Phil could have just had a nice day where he came back, he's sick, he sounds awful. And he's coming back and he could just talk about games and we could have a fun, chill day here today on stream. But instead now he has to deal with the stupidity because of the shitheads who are constantly in every little aspect of his life to make his life a living hell. Um, because just because they can, it's not because they get benefit out of it. Of course, the YouTube content creators, of course, do get something out of it. They get money. But the average little shitheads who want to create drama everywhere, they don't get anything out of it. They just get laughs. and Oh, I love making fun of someone's life, right? I love it. <clears throat> well, you know, it, it, it is what it is. That's why I'm in the position I am, I'm in, you know, because people just wanted to make fun of my life uh, in 2015 and caused a dramatic dip of my income for about two years. Uh, that's why I'm in the situation I'm in, because if I kept making what I was making on YouTube, uh, I wouldn't have ever had this issue at all. This is a situation where once again... I've done absolutely nothing wrong whatsoever, and I'm getting punished like like I did, you know? You know, all the, the credit cards and loans, the loans wouldn't exist. The credit cards would have been paid down. Would they have been completely paid off? Probably not. But they would have at least gotten paid down. It certainly wouldn't have gotten to the exorbitant issue that I'm in right now. Um, you know, because of this. And it is what it is. But again, you know, it's not that I'm not taking accountability. Of course it's my fault. I'm the one who made the decision to move across the country. I'm the one who racked up all the debt trying to make ends meet and keep stuff afloat. I'm the one who couldn't find a way out of the situation no matter what I tried. Um, you know, and it sucked. Every step of the way, every time I thought I had a solution worked out or some kind of light at the end of the tunnel, that light would be extinguished by something else that would jump out in the way. And, you know, it's terrible. You know, and now, on top of all this, <clears throat> right, then I get sick. As I've said many times, you know, people will get what's coming to them. It's called karma. And it's like, now I'm fucking sick too. Right in the midst of all this happening. I'm sick as shit. I feel awful. I know I'm going to sound awful all day long. And I don't get to work yesterday, so now I don't make any money for a day. Which is terrible, as you know. It's like, when you're self-employed, when a day you don't work is a day you don't make money. <clears throat> it's not like I've paid time off or anything. I don't have sick days. So now, because I wasn't here yesterday, now I'm screwed over in that regard. 
Okay, it's just it's a thing on top of thing. It's a usual thing on top of thing, right? Um, and it sucks, you know. But that's life. You you live with your choices, and you do what you can to try to move on. For me, my only real solution here is to declare bankruptcy and to try to get back to a square one situation. In fact, I've already been talking with my tax guy about it. You know, trying to figure out what the hell we're going to do for this coming year. Because obviously, with all the money now, I've now spent on filing for bankruptcy and everything. I, you know, where's the? There's no money to pay towards the federal taxes again. Mark McCauley says, "Hint, hint, do no hint, hint." I'm outright telling you, I really would appreciate some help via tipping. And it's like this really sucks, but you know, that's what I mean. That's every time that something happens, oh, it's going to fix stuff. Then other things snowball. That's been my life for like the past five plus years. And ever since. The, those false copyright strikes against DSP Gaming. That's was the start of it, and it just kept continuing, you know. Um, <clears throat> you know, it is what it is. So, I'm sure we're going to have idiots coming by. Um, I'm sure we're going to have people coming by and just trolling constantly. They think it's funny just to, to kick you when you're down and make funny. Oh, you're, you're going bankrupt and ha ha ha. Oh, look at this. Phil perjury and shit. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's not even, what are you talking about? I didn't go in front of a court. This is the initial filing. It's just stupidity. It's absolutely stupidity. Okay? Um, and it's just hilarious to, to, to hear it and see it. But the thing is, you'd say it's hilarious, except now it's going to negatively affect my streams probably for, for months, if not longer, where you know people are just going to come in here and troll over stupid shit. Even though, like, I talked about this two weeks ago, so I guess people didn't believe me then or something. I don't know. <clears throat> like, you didn't believe that this was coming, even though I told you up front this was coming, right? Um... So that's it. All right, so I'll leave it at this, and then we'll move on to the positive stuff, and we'll move on to the stuff we want to talk about on the stream, which hilarious. This will be hilarious because the viewership will dip dramatically now because all the drama shitheads are going to be gone in a minute. Um, I didn't lie to you guys about anything. That's 100% a lie. Financially, I've been in trouble for years. Um, it just kept snowballing. Every time I thought I was going to find a way out, it just got worse because of something else. Um... There's, at this point, it got to the point where it didn't matter what I said or did or, or acted. No matter what I did, it wasn't getting better. There was no way to fix it. So <clears throat> the only way to get myself out of the situation is bankruptcy. That's why I'm doing it. Because I'm a public figure, people are all over every little aspect of doing it because of the fact that, um, because of the fact that basically they're shitheads up in my business. You know, they want to tear apart. They want to believe that I'm, something kind of, I'm some kind of a liar. You know, they want to believe uh, that... I'm some kind of a, a dishonest person, um, and that I am, you know, uh, basically some kind of a scumbag who's been either, I don't know, hoarding money. I don't even know. I have no idea at this point, because obviously what the bankruptcy petition proves is that I have no money. Like I've been saying all along, no matter what I make, it just immediately gets pissed away to something else, you know? So I don't understand why people would think that I'm a liar, but I guess they're that dumb, is that they just don't want to believe anything. They just want to continuously believe that I'm some kind of a liar. Um, <clears throat> it is what it is, Okay. So, that's the situation. The reason that people are going crazy is because the bankruptcy filing went public and everyone saw it. <clears throat> okay? And when they see it, they go nuts. Absolutely. They go, oh my god, you know, look at this. Uh, let's call out all of Phil's shortcomings and all his problems, which of course you knew was going to happen because that's all they do. They would never look at themselves. They only look at, at me to make fun of me. Um, and, of course, they're going to say, oh, look at all these discrepancies we found in reality. It's not a big deal. For them to understand, like I said, this is the initial filing. These are things that will get fixed, especially if there's little stupid things on there that were either omitted or completely, you know, misclassified. That's why, you know, you get fixed. You get it filed so that it gets into the system. It's going to get audited and fixed. And then you, you have your actual, you know, situation later on where you go, you know, you, you, you say, okay, yes, all this information is 100% accurate now and blah, blah, blah. Okay. <clears throat> so, so that's the situation. And that's it. That's all I'm talking about. All right. That's all I'm talking about. I'm done with it. There's nothing else to say. There won't be anything else to say. You know, anything else that's going to happen with this will go be beyond, behind the scenes, okay? Um, it has nothing to do with the content on my gameplay streams at all. Uh, and I'm not going to bother <clears throat> wasting time on it, okay? Because there's no point. All right, there's absolutely no point in discussing it further because, number one, it's not anyone's business anyway. Number two, these are gameplay streams. These are not, oh, my stream of my personal la dirty laundry that's going to be aired publicly, okay? <clears throat> Okay? Oh, uh, I'm such a stupid idiot. Do you think I'm stupid? Obviously, the answer is yes, you think I'm stupid. Tax attorney tipped me $5.
insulting me, of course, but says, if you can't manage to manage your finances like a normal adult, how do you expect to keep up your bankruptcy repayment plan? Uh, because I won't have all that other shit to pay. That's the point, is if I don't have to pay exorbitant amounts of money to credit cards and loans every month, that money can now actually go to taxes. That money can go to the regular bills that I told you that I'm behind on and, you know, have been awful because I've been overdrawn and now how am I going to pay the electricity bill and stuff? That won't happen anymore because all of those creditors will be gone and I'll just be able to put money towards the essentials to keep the business operating, okay? <clears throat> That's the point, is so much has happened in the past five years that debt never went away, and it's just eating at me, eating at me, getting more, getting, becoming more and more and more, because I can never pay it off or pay it down. <clears throat> and this will help to, uh, you know, fix that, okay? Um, Third Eye cheered, he says, Do you think credit card companies prey upon people like you? Seems like a person shouldn't be allowed to have more than one credit card anyway, shape, or form. Good credit cards in themselves are predatory practices. Pre credit card, anything that has interest that is a variable interest rate that can accumulate on top of itself is predatory. All right? Credit cards are bad. In general, if you just have like one or two credit cards, one credit card maybe you actually use for stuff and one is a backup for emergencies, that's the ideal. Okay? When you start getting into more than two credit cards, it's bad. When you've got 13 credit cards, you're fucked. <laughs> You'll never pay them off. It's just not possible unless you make an exorbitant amount of money in a short period of time and you can pay them off in giant lumps. Those balances will never go down, okay? Um, and like I said, certainly I'm not proud <clears throat> of the situation I'm in at all. Um, it's embarrassing. It's it's disheartening. It's, it's fucked up. I made tons of mistakes, you know, with things that I did when I moved out here. And again, it was all based on the assumption that I'd be able to pay it all down because of what I was making. And then I stopped making it for about two years because of trolls. And after that, I was fucked. <clears throat> now at least I think you guys have a picture of what's going on with me. Because previously I would say this, and you guys would be like, Ah, he's full of it. He makes so much money, it doesn't matter. Now you understand that that money was literally just getting pissed away by these creditors every month. And there was no way for me to ever come back from it. Because like I said, every time I had a chance, here comes something else to screw me over and take the money away that would have caught me up. Oh, here you go again. And it was just a big, ongoing, rolling, clusterfuck problem. Okay? Um, it absolutely sucks. But anyway, no, you know, a lot of people are saying, how did I get that many credit cards? Because I used to have impeccable credit. I used to have impeccable credit. I told you, when I moved across the country, I didn't have any debt. I was making so much on YouTube on a monthly basis, and I had no debt, so my credit score was astronomically good. And I said, well, I don't have the money, so let's finance the move. <coughs> <coughs> Which is exactly what I did, and it ended up being the worst mistake of my life, I would say. So there you go. Now Third Eye the Third basically says, <coughs> Oh God. He says the only way to get out of the hole, you say you say the only way to get out of the hole is to make like triple what you make. Why don't you pull out all the stops? Why don't you do live react videos? Why don't you do all the things that everyone else does to make money? Because there's no point. It's not going to work for me. It's just like everything else. For example, everyone else gets to do sponsorships. I don't get to do them. Everyone else does react videos. If I did them, it wouldn't matter. None of that's going to matter. It's not like overnight. There's no magic solution to magically just like, oh yes, this is going to fix everything, and somehow I'm going to make an exorbitant amount of money on top of what I'm already making, and it's going to fix everything. It's not going to happen. And you know, that's not realistic, okay? <clears throat> Save the pig! <laughs> what the heck? A pig with a party hat! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. This is Piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Hell! By the way, I will say this. Um, because of all the stupidity on the internet, I said it on the pre-stream earlier today, but I'll say it again. Um, people are so dumb that they look at something like this, my bankruptcy filing that, I, that uh, happened a couple days ago and went public and look at it and say, there may be some discrepancies here. From what we know about Phil, therefore Phil committed perjury, he's going to jail. You're an idiot. Anyone who says that is a complete and utter fucking idiot. It's not how it works. That's an initial filing. And if anything is found to uh, not be correct, it can be fixed. Um, in addition to that, um, for what I'm going to understand, a lot of the stuff that people are calling out as discrepancies are not discrepancies. It's just that they didn't read the whole fucking report or didn't understand it. Um... <clears throat> I already talked to my uh, bankruptcy attorney about it, and uh, they were like, no, it's like everything there is correct, 
you know, maybe there's one or two things that we're going to do addendums to or we'll update. Um, but for the most part, it's all correct. There's nothing problem. Just don't listen to any one idiot who's saying anything about legal ramifications of it. They're complete morons. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. This is not like you went in front of a court and you swore on a Bible and then you say, yes, everything there was 100% true. This is the initial filing that's going to change over time and it's fine. Um, but it's just, it's hilarious to me, to all these idiots <clears throat> on the internet who say stupid shit like that to cause drama. Like literally not a single person ever in the history of filing for bankruptcy has filed a bankruptcy filing like this and gone to jail ever. Never. So you could have literally put everything false on it and there's no ramifications. <laughs> People are that stupid. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so you idiots believe whatever you want if you actually believe that. Okay. Seriously. If you believe that a bankruptcy attorney who this is their job is going to risk going to jail themselves for filing false information, right? You're an idiot. And people are just that fucking dumb to believe anything for drama purposes and to create a drama story for YouTube clicks, which is all it fucking is. Idiots who are doing that for YouTube attention and make money. That's it. There's no truth to anything they're saying. They're complete idiots. So, <clears throat> um, so don't worry about it. It's going to, you know, everything's going to be fine. Um, I just knew there was going to be controversy and drama as soon as it went public because you knew people were going to be idiots and microanalyze it and everything. You know, like, so we, oh, it doesn't say on there that you have a business in your name. Actually, it does. It's just not in the section that people are looking because they're idiots and they're looking in the wrong section. But that's the thing because they're idiots. It's a bunch of fucking, you know, 20 year olds who make YouTube videos about drama and crap to make money instead of knowing anything about anything they're fucking talking about. They actually act like they know anything. They don't. Okay, so that's that. <clears throat> I, there's really no reason for me to bring it up or address it anymore because it's so stupid. But I just find it hilarious that, like, I knew up front nothing was wrong. But over the course of today, I actually went out of my way to contract my ba my bankruptcy lawyer to say, um, you know, is everything fine? Because here's some discrepancies that people have brought up. And they said, everything is completely fine. They're idiots. Don't listen to the dumb kids on the internet. So I'm just not going to anymore. Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right, guys. That's it. Have a good night. I mean, I need help now. But, I mean, how many times can I yell help before people are like, enough is enough? Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone. Like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>